I mean, with Thorncraft you can get amazing stuff, like, it's awesome, I cannot wait to get deep into it. That sounds so bad, but I just can't wait. What is up, guys? Welcome back to FTB episode 7, and it is Thursday, I think. Yes, it is Thursday, and welcome back. Let's go out. Yes, and you can see I've done some stuff, okay? I have been playing since the moment I got up, which is about 8, no, not 8, about 10, and it's now 4, and I've been just, you know, grinding out these ores, and I've got the system things set up, the ores are in here now. Um, you know, I have been organising, this isn't the storage room, but... I've just been organising, you know, I've got the main tools on the little dry rack things here. I've got things set up over there. I've got the rubber tree farm over there. And things are going alright. Today we're going to be doing some Thorncraft. But first, first people, what we need to do is, I've seen so many golden things that are amazing. So there's the golden lasso, which is amazing because you can pick up mobs with it like it, I don't know I just pick up mobs it's awesome golden bag holding I mean it's an extra inventory so we do need that we might as well create that now which is four wool I'm not totally sure if I have any wool but I probably have enough string to you know do so 16 I'd need I need two I should just get a stack um, I believe it was a block block and a chest which should be in here indeed nicely done so bag ding oh I didn't craft the thingies ding ding but yeah okay I've got everything cool chest and awesome golden bag of holding so oh gosh if we just pick this up you know look inside it there you go it's a massive double chest and it's awesome we can rename it to whatever we want. We've been getting lots of XP from all the smelting with the pickaxe. As you can see, it's run down because I just had a nice run of it. So we've got that. Now we need the golden lasso, which is created using four string. Okay. What? What the hell was that? Why are there so many mobs over here? I'm, oh wait, I took, oh, sorry guys, should be on far, I'm sorry, there you go, there's the beautifulness, there we go, looks so much better on far, reason I play on short is because, uh, my thing ends up just crashing, if I don't, so we probably just missed, I think, a meteor, I'm not 100% sure, but that sounded pretty brutal, so it probably was a meteor, let's, What's this? This is quite a nice biome. Everywhere we live is a cool biome, but... Where did this meteor land, dude? Wait, oh, I also activated one of the mods that are like this. It's awesome. It was in the deactivated mods, but it's awesome. It literally is. You can see our old base now. Look, there's the quarry. Um, I can't see any, like, rubble or anything. Oh, well. I guess we're just going crazy but I, I definitely wasn't the only one that heard that right right yeah hope so I love I love what's this called glider love it it's great right so lasso as we talk about so we need an ender ball which ender ball should be in here we need some string I think four string and four nougats which we have that which kind of sucks but we'll just make some more there we go bang put that back um, and pearl in the middle, there, there, there. You know what, I am just going to quickly do something so that it doesn't drive you nutty. Just put that on. Oh, wait, 7200. Yep, yeah, there you go. One hour, perfect. So the golden lasso, we'll go test it out. I'll show you exactly what it is. Let's go find a mob. I see a chicken. No, I don't see a chicken, but on the map I do. I see some sort of thing. Where the heck? Oh, wait, I see one. Oh, it's a sheep. So, if you right-click it, it says sheep. And we can just place it down wherever we want. 
So it's awesome. It's like an awesome all portable thing. So if we ever need to put a mob in a specific place, then we're a good one. Um, that's pretty much what I wanted to, want to do for the start. And also, below this tree, let me just cut it down and I'll show you what's below this tree. Is fertilized dirt, which is very easy to make and it enhances the speed of growth, which is awesome. So we need to keep that in mind. So, I guess we're going to go to Thorncraft. Now, let me just collect some of the things and I'll be back. Righty ho then. So, I'm going to show you how to get the Thomonomicon if you can't find one. As you may know, where is my bookshelf? I've totally forgot it's here. As you may know, I have three Thomonomicons because you can find them in the villages on the Thomonomicon guy. Um... But I'm going to show you how to make one if you don't find a village. So you need to make a wand, which is a stick and two iron caps. Iron caps are made by iron nuggets, which one iron makes nine nuggets. So you're pretty decent there. Look, there's the recipe for the caps. Pretty decent, if you if you will, really. Um, so here's the wand. I've been researching all morning. I'm not going to have two hours of research for this stuff. It's crazy. So I believe if you put a bookshelf down, right click, you'll get yourself a thumb and no on. Let's screenshot that, the beauty itself. Wait, let's get stupid, stupid thingy. Okay, oh wow. Okay, we should have to leave it like that. No! It's not going to shine anymore. Okay, well that totally ruins it. So <laughs> let's uh, get past that, that phase. Right, so the first thing first is this. Put two together and wand that be at. Okay then. Okay, just we'll do the singular one first, I guess. God dang it. Let's get rid of this one. Is it an axe? Yeah, it's an axe. There should be two together. Oh right, I need this um like ink thing. A scribe, I think it's called scribe. Scribe. Is that it? That's it. So I, oh. Okay. That, that's what I need. So I need what the, a glass bottle, a feather, and an ink sack. I mean, with Thorncraft, you can get amazing stuff. Like, it's awesome. I cannot wait to get deep into it. That sounds so bad, but I just can't wait. <laughs> right. Ink sack and a feather. There you go. Scribing tool. Now we can, god dang it, go back over to here and get us a nice research table bang tidy so we need to put paper up there which I just saw we have some paper and this is like some special crafting stuff but the main thing that we really want is I need to find it I don't exactly know where it's located crucible we don't need yet wand we've kind of just done all that stuff basic info we need where is... oh, I can't find it right guys <laughs> I try and find found it it was in the artifice I don't know I think that's how you pronounce it Artif artifice artifice so the workbench we need to get glass two shards and some gold ingots pretty easy kinda sucks that we have to go back and forth all the downtime um, right so two gold gold um, two shards of any kind and some glass which we have glass we did have glass on us but it should be in here then nope, in here. yes it is that and then shards 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 which should be in here right so we'll just use water bang I've forgotten how to craft it glass okay no wait I'm good the thun Thermometer. Yes, this stuff. Well, not this stuff. This thing is amazing. You can scan things by right clicking. Although, in the bottom right, you have to kind of get other elements. Like, let's go over here. Grass is one that we can scan, I believe. No, we cannot. This is this is a great start. Can we scan wood? Oh, no, we can't. Okay, we're very minor in what? when it comes to it. So these things will start to add up and I believe in the Thomonomicon if we go to basic info and go to 
aspects of magic. Yeah, stuff will start to appear as we combine elements and the reason why we can't scan is because we don't know. There's obviously an element in this bit of wood or this grass that we don't have that will then tell us and stuff. I know we can scan water though. Let's go find some water. I believe there's some water here by the river. Actually, why don't we just place some down water in a hole? Do that. Scan it. Right click. And you can see it comes up and it's awesome. It says gained four research points for aqua. Um, which is awesome because the more you scan, the more of these points you get. So you want to just, in the start of this, literally scan every single thing known to man. I mean, I think we can do a torch. Yep, yeah, stubbed a new thing, which is Lux. We gain three points for that. And as you'll see in this bench, I have three Lux. See, three Lux. So you do need to just scan everything known to man. What the hell am I doing? Whoa, that was cool. I discovered new research, did I? What was that about? Oh, no, oh nothing can be learned. Okay. Nothing can be learned. Right, guys. So... I've just travelled a tiny bit, you know, this is the origin biome that we live next to, which is pretty damn cool, if you ask me, that's pretty cool. Right, so, do you see anything in front of us? No, just water. Well, if we get through here, we've got a node, and it is, we can't, I think we can scan it. Yes, lots and lots of stuff, holy moly. Look, this is a node, it's a normal node, you get new, you get, you get different types of ones, you get like an active one, um, and a taint one or something like that a dark one a light one a bright one <laughs> that's it and with the wand you can in fact right click and absorb and as you can see in the top left there are these little tubes which it is draining everything that the, the node has so until it's like fully drained um, then yeah uh, if <laughs> I'm not the best explainer, okay, where am I getting this saturation from? Why am I so saturated? Is it the biome? I'm not going to complain. That's kind of cool. Right, we've already scanned water, we've scanned the node, which is awesome. And we've got three field bars on our thing. Oh, it's from here. Right, okay. Does this... Oh, it's still just dirt. Okay, it's fine. I thought it was going to actually give me origin dirt. That's grass even. that have been pretty cool. So, um... Yeah, I just want to show you that, and I've still got to do some more scanning and stuff. Guys, we just found a magical forest, which I think this is a Thorncraft biome, and there should be these green type of pods, but... No, wow, I hate this damn glider sometimes, it just doesn't open, I nearly died from it. Um, yeah, so there should be these like green pods, and hopefully we can get some scanning on them. Yeah, look. I just literally read up on them in the book. But nothing can be learned, so kinda sucks mana bean. Whoa! I think that's an element, wait. Oh my gosh, I hate you. Um can we scan this? Yes, we got something different, something that we actually need, like a magical thing get in I sh maybe should cut down this tree or an R well I'm gonna place a marker here because you know this is quite a cool biome to be honest I wish I would have lived here <laughs> um, right so add magic oh gosh that cat blocks though magic forest and I'll put it as a, a nice green like that nice it's almost the same colour as the pod. That was pretty cool. What? Oh, what is this guy? Oh my gosh. What is this guy? A patch? What is... I'll save you, guy. I reckon. Can I trade with you? Wait, let me read up on him in the Phomonomicon. Because I, I know he's here. Um... Oh no, that's that's the aspects of magic. He's somewhere, I know. Uh, here, the petch. The strange humanoid can be found wherever the vein between worlds is at its thinnest. They seem to drawn to magical energies around in such... Okay. Um, 
pets are normally not aggressive. Uh, they avoid people at all costs. Um, yeah, I don't think they're really relevant in any way. There's a doggy. Screw that. Um, oh, yes. Oh, damn. What's going on? Pain spiders. I don't like that. It's a special tree. Stop. No. Come to me. That's what I thought, punk. Let's destroy you quick. Oh, got a D CD, some a page. So, well, I don't. Even, I ain't got a clue what some of that stuff is. But I ain't gonna complain. This has been pretty cool. Damn cool. Oh, definitely. What the fuck is that? What the hell is that? A doom creeper. Oh, here. Nah, I'm out. I'm done. I would like to scan some things if. I had time and it wasn't being constantly owned by all these damn mobs. I like it. That's it. I'm gone. I'm gone. Oh my gosh. Ah, okay. I'm so gone. Where's... How are we so far away from home? Oh well. Guys, I just found a desert temple out of randomness. Holy damn. I am babysitting at the moment, so if you hear a um, baby, then that is why. And also, I've got to say, those totem pole things that you find around the world, they just gave me a hell lot of research when it comes to Thorncraft. Holy moly, I have not got a pick. I, I could just go down here and then oh no it's gonna go so badly right, I'm just gonna float down it's all good float into the corner um oh no no just keep floating into the corner and go and break cool right so we got some that Stuff of traveling, nice. Don't know what that is, but cool. Oh, nice. Like it. Right. The bag of holding, I'd like to show you. We cut down the rainbow tree, and this is all the stuff we got. We got two notch apples, nine golden apples. We can grow our own tree, and we had some more back at home anyway. We've got some wood, and lots and lots of dyes. We're probably not going to run out anytime soon, which is awesome. So... I kind of don't have anywhere to put all the stuff that I'm going to get. So, I guess I'm going to put this away. <gasps> um, throw some stuff out as well. Um, right. So, take. Take. Take again. What's in this one first? Definitely take that. The reason why you need ender pearl dust is because in order to power an ender portal gun, you actually need ender pearl dust. Which is uh, I think I wouldn't say recently added but it has been added because before you could just shoot your portals as much as you want as fast as you want but now you can't we're gonna leave that because I'm already decked out like a champ so there's no point um, now we can't get back up so I throw wood it out let's get that get you away pop out and get back up Awesome, well that was a cool find, but I am so close to doing something with the Formcraft. Oh, I gotta show you, I did finally work out how to do the whole connect up thing, and we discovered one thing, which is one foci, yes buddy. Might as well look at that, we're nowhere near home, look, home is 500 blocks that way. Um, right, one foci, I don't know where it is though, oh, it's here, one foci. So that's how you make a wand foci of fire, and well, I guess we can do that. Um, but yeah, we'll go back to base, and we'll continue some of the craft stuff. Right, I think we've got this on a lockdown, kids. Look how much stuff we have. Like, holy moly. This might not even be touching the surface, but to me, it looks like a lot. So I'm going to go with it's a lot. Um, we are going to 
Well, I'm going to demonstrate the whole thing. Hopefully, we can do the goggles. Can we do the goggles? No, we're still missing one when it comes to the goggles. Oh, wow. We'll do the great wood. Can't do that either, actually. That one. Yes, we'll do this one. This one's quite a big one. Like, I'm not going to lie. So, we need to find out what stuff goes into this fast one. So, what stuff goes into it? Is this it? Yep. The f the, where is it? Where is it? So we could use best bestia, I think. I think I'm getting it right. I'm not 100% sure. Yes, you can see there is a blue line. So I know exactly how this works now. Um, wait, okay, right. <laughs> if this next one works, then it, it works exactly how I would think it would work. Although doesn't look like it's so good at the moment because um, there's nothing up with the beast the beast thing but the recycle one what, what goes into the recycle recycle motus the movement we can do its own movement thing like that and it connects it's great it works exactly how I thought it was it, it's quite a difficult because you kind of need to know the combinations which kind of sucks, which I do believe though that this goes into this. It does, so as you can see it's now connected like that. We just need to go all the way around to there and then we'll be we'll be on a good one. So what what what, what oh I can't speak. What goes into magic? This is quite a a long thing I know. Magic, magic, magic. Aurum. Let's do Aurum. Where's Aurum? Can't see it. Am I blind? There it is. So we'll go here. So it connects again. Then what goes into Aurum? I'm guessing I could use a wand. I mean, can I just keep going like that? I could. No freaking way. Um, Aurum. Oh no, that's bad. That's bad. Don't want that. Okay, right, I have to put the staff there, and then keep going. Nope. Like that. Although nothing, the right site recycle. What goes into the recycle thing? And what goes into aqua that also goes into motus? Aqua. Oh. Yeah. Winners. What do we get? Advanced. No tapping. Oh. This is badass. We haven't done that yet. Wait. Where, where are we? Oh right. We clicked the wrong thing. What is this? And then. Node preserver and master node tapping. Who's that one in double? Voice draw rate. No. That's badass, son. That's badass. Well, I guess that will do for today. Um, I hope you guys have enjoyed. Readings are appreciated. Love and Thorncraft is great. It's all great. And the exploring is just great. It's great. So. I hope you guys have enjoyed, rings are appreciated, and adios. Actually, wait, no, I've got to speak to you about something. So, next episode we will make the, um, the goggles, right? So the goggles will be made next episode. Um, but, ah, uh, don't forget, do not forget, come on, squeeze it out. Right, yeah, so, we will be going to Twilight Forest very soon, you know, but, Next episode, we need to do advanced genetics so that we get the ability to fly like creative. Although it is part of the mod, it is legit. Um, so we get to fly like creative. Uh, and then the episode after that, we will go into the twilight, which will be awesome. And yeah, so I just wanted to say that. So I hope you guys have enjoyed. Really appreciate it. And adios. Oh my god. What have we found here? Everything in this biome is multicolored. Rainbow Forest. 
Not gonna lie, it could have been more of a forest. 